Hey everyone, this is Joe George, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can whitelist our emails using Microsoft Outlook. As a point of emphasis, I'm actually using the desktop app version, not the cloud or web version. If you happen to be using the web version, don't worry, I'll walk you through the process in another video. Once you're actually signed into Outlook or you have the app running on your PC, you need to find one of our old emails. It doesn't matter what email it is, just so long as you can find one of our emails to use as a point of reference, you'll be able to still whitelist our email address. In this video, I have sent an email with the subject line deals and promotions to my personal Outlook account, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this email. Once you find one of our emails, you want to right click on that email, go to junk, and click on never block sender. What this is going to do is Outlook is going to put this email address into a safe senders list. What that means is you're telling Outlook never to store any emails that are being received from Cubitize into your junk spam or bulk folder. Going forward, all these emails will be delivered into your inbox. It's very important that you follow this step correctly. Otherwise, some of our emails might end up in your spam folder and you don't want that to happen. I can actually go ahead and show you a visual of where Outlook stores this email as part of your safe senders list. You can just click on junk email options. There's a tab called safe senders and you'll see that this email has been added there. You probably want to also do this for um, the other email that we use to send out um, support related um, information and that is support at support.cubitize.com. So you can click on this add button and just type that domain there support at support.cubitize.com hit OK and then click apply so that takes care of step number one step number two is we want to add the uh, email address into your contact books in order for you to do this again use one of our past old emails as a point of reference I'm going to go ahead and use this one for our demonstration and then what you need to do is double click this email right click the uh, email address and then click on add to Outlook contacts for the name just keep it as cubitize this is okay click save uh, you don't need to fill in this information just hit okay and Click save again and now this contact is saved into your Outlook contact books. We also need to do this for the support email and uh, if you happen to not have one of our past support emails that's not a problem you can actually do this manually by going uh, by going into the people tab so click this tab right here and Click on new contact, name should be cubitize, hit OK, email will be support at support.cubitize.com. Once you're done with that, click save and close. Um, yeah, I guess there's an error because you can't use, okay the same name so what we need to do is we can just call this cubitize support and that should fix that issue yep so now you have cubitize support and now you have cubitize if you wanna actually put uh, another name for this just so that you can identify this uh, contact better you can go ahead and edit the contact and put cubitize like news short for newsletters 
That way you can properly distinguish between the two um, contacts. So that's pretty much it. That's how you whitelist our emails using the Outlook app. I hope you guys like this video and wherever you are in this world, may you have a blessed and fruitful day.